This Duana real fix is real fast. We've got a 2004 Ford Focus. Check engine lights on and the code is PO401. It's part of the EGR system, the DPFE, Delta Pressure Feedback System, insufficient flow. In other words, exhaust gas is not flowing through the system, or at least it's not being registered. The computer is not seeing it. In case you're not familiar, the EGR is exhaust gas recirculation. If you go back to your high school science and physics class, you know that all gas has mass. It takes up space. Well, when your engine sucks in air, squirts fuel, the engine burns it and it goes out the exhaust, that exhaust gas still has mass. It still takes up space. But it's inert because it's burned off all the fuel and oxygen, so it won't burn. So they actually capture that and recirculate it back to the engine, mix it with the fresh air. Therefore, it lowers the combustion temperature because it won't burn, yet it still takes up space, which lowers the NOx, which lowers the air pollution. That's what's happening here. Manufacturers monitor this in order to be able to tell whether or not that system is actually working. They do that with the delta pressure feedback system. At least Ford does. We're going to show you on a Ford right now. So the DPFE sensor should be telling the computer whether or not the EGR valve is opening and closing and letting gas flow. Now the code PO401 simply says that the computer can't tell if the gas is flowing or not. We don't know if the EGR valve is broken, if the passageways are clogged, or if the sensor is bad. It just says that there's insufficient flow. It can't tell. So the first thing for us to do is test the system. This is your DPFE, or the feedback sensor, right here. Underneath it is the EGR valve. They're both electronic. Now these tubes right here are the exhaust gases coming in to be measured to whether or not it can tell the pressure differential on both sides. So how do we test this? Let's go to the scanner. Of course you're going to set it up for the right vehicle. We're going to go to the scanner and check engine. Now once we're in the engine, we're going to open up the options down there. We're going to go to functional tests. We're going to go down here to the EGR vacuum regulator and test that. When you look in your vehicle manual, it says the DPFE sensor with the engine running at idle should be about 1 volt and we're 1.04. Now what we're going to do basically here to test is I'm going to show you on the old system, the old EGR valves. When they were running, remember a lot of times you could actually reach up underneath here and squeeze this diaphragm and compress it. And when you did, the engine would stall if it was working correct because it was letting exhaust gas go. And the way you would test this valve, you'd put vacuum over there, you'd pump up your vacuum and if the engine stalled, it'd tell you that the valve is working. Well it's similar, but it's electronic. Now basically what we're going to do then in this test is command the EGR on. It's an electronic valve that's operated with vacuum. So it says if I want it on, sometimes it can be confusing. If you want it on, click the yes button. Now when we do that, you'll see this to switch to off, which means if you want it off, click the button. But to watch the DPFE sensor, and like always, listen to the engine. See if it stalls or stumbles. So watch your DPF value. We click it on. Now, this has commanded the EGR valve on. We got no change in DPFE, and the engine did not stall. That means there's a problem. So what kind of problem do we have? If the EGR was commanded on, and if it actually physically opened, it should have let gas go in and the engine should have stumbled. It didn't do that. So, we either have a bad EGR valve, or something's making that EGR valve not work right, or we got a restricted EGR passageway. How are we going to eliminate? Well, obviously do the easiest things first. We're going to see how the EGR valve works. It needs vacuum. Now, as you can see, these two tubes are the exhaust gas going to this valve, and you have an electronic sensor that's going telling it to the computer. But the EGR valve is down there. It's got an electronic connector, but it's also got a vacuum port. Now on the Ford Focus, if you look down here, these vacuum hoses, they go from the bottom of the EGR valve and they go around down here and here's where they hook into the intake, or that's where the intake, the vacuum source begins. Now if you look at this, it actually looks okay. We look real close right here, this little vacuum port is actually rubbing on this plastic housing. I'm going to pop this off with my hand 
and bring it up here where you can see it. And if you look right here, this plastic, hard plastic vacuum line has rubbed a hole in it on the bottom. So we're not going to get vacuum to the EGR valve. So what we need to do is fix this and then rerun our test again. So we pop that off of the control solenoid. There's the bad one. Here's the new part. Got this little tag where that part number goes. We'll take that off and show you that this one's not rubbed through. So we're going to repair our vacuum leak and then retest. Now if you look down here, we've got the new hose and we rerouted it so it won't rub back here, won't rub through. We've got everything fixed, let's see what happens now. Now if you look over here, it'll tell you that it's off. If you want to command it on, you hit the yes button. Now your scanner may be set up differently, but it's basically the same. Now you remember the old EGR? When you would squeeze the valve under here, if the engine would stall, it'd tell you the EGR valve was good. It just wasn't working right. Same thing here. When we command the EGR valve on, the engine should stall or stumble and your DPFE sensor should change. So we'll hit yes. It's on and it's stalled. Now I restarted it and you see the DPFE is registering. It's actually reading voltage now. So the, the DPFE is saying there is EGR flow. So I hit the button to turn it off. DPFE goes back to 1.3. It's in the off position. The engine smooths down. EGR insufficient flow is a very common code. And you can look up at any of the diagnostic help places and they'll tell you that the, re the failure rate on those DPFE sensors is very high. It could easily be your problem. But it may not be. So rather than just throw parts at it, let's learn how to test it. This is how to test it. Now, after you put a DPFE sensor on it, if you run this test and it still doesn't make the engine stumble, then you still haven't fixed the problem. Now, it truly may need a DPFE sensor. They commonly go bad, but there may be more to the problem than just a new sensor. So, code P0401, EGR insufficient flow. This is a way to test it to see if it's working when you first start. And if you decide that you have a vacuum leak, or maybe it is your DPFE sensor, this is a way to confirm the repair to make sure that what you've done is fixed it.